So I found myself wanting to perform all of these pieces by B composers. And I don't mean second-rate composers, I just mean their last name started with B. The first piece on my concert is by Luigi Bassi. Bassi was a clarinetist in Milan in the La Scala Opera Orchestra. Um, so his day job was to play opera. And he wrote at least 15 opera fantasies for the clarinet, basically using tunes that other composers had written, um, but kind of embellishing them, going to town. The Brahms F minor um, clarinet sonata is one of my all-time favorites. Um, I had a really important experience with this piece earlier in my life and knew I wanted to really revisit it as an old person. Really substantial work for the clarinet. Brahms um, kind of put off writing for the clarinet, although in his symphonies there's some amazing clarinet work. but kind of didn't do much with the clarinet until very late in his life. In fact, he'd already retired. He decided that he was no longer relevant as a composer. I'm collaborating with my friend uh, Kristen Sims. Got a beautiful soprano voice. Two nursery rhymes by an English composer named Arthur Bliss. And Eugene Boza, French composer. And this piece sounds very French. kind of cadenza-like opening. And then we get a scherzo, which literally means joke. So a scherzo um, to finish it out. I like to say it's like Debussy on crack. Then two new pieces. First one is a piece um, by St. James's own Ron Barnett. Um, he wrote me a very short, very cute little piece called Bad Disc. Bad Disc tells a true story. Ron and I were carpooling to New York and I had burned some CDs to listen to in the rental car. I put in the first disc and and it kind of spits it back out at me and it reads, bad disc. Get out my second burned disc and try that again. It doesn't work. And then I start getting angry. It's okay, we can just talk. And then a uh, piece by my husband, Rusty Banks. Be funk influenced, a little trip hobby, um, and really grows into a very funky piece by the end. And that's how the concert ends. I think I should put on my go-go boots.